Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and I'm finally back with a new journal. I haven't done a journal in probably over a month now and this is one that I wanted to make for my son. It looks like the very popular forest journals that are going around right now. However, this is not a forest journal. This is actually more of a camping journal. So to give you some of, some of what it is, it is a hard bound. I use a uh, chipboard on the binding for the cover in the back and it also has a curved spine and I'll show you in a minute. It is the hollow back binding. The base of this book is actually from Nick the Booksmith and it is her ladies folio and the journal one. Uh, so that's a class that you can take if you'd like to learn how to make a basic one. But then I've added a lot more to it. So on the front of this, I printed out, this is an image from the Graphics Fairy, <clears throat> and this is from Nick the Booksmith. And this is a Tim Holtz die plate that I've put some brads in it. And then I cut out a piece of cardboard to make a frame for this using this same fabric. Then this is a wired leaf motif that I have that is backed with uh, burlap. And then I tied a knot up here with some twine. And then what this fabric is, is actually tent. Old, it's a very old tent that we pulled apart. And on the back, this was actually, so patches go on the inside of a tent, so this is actually the inside. This is closer to the original color of the tent. The other side is very, very faded. Um, it's a really lovely color, but I wanted more green for this. And this says Lovely Woods Dark and Deep. And this is just a number thing backed with some brown cardstock. These are both from Nick the Booksmith as well. So everything in this is pretty much either Nick the Booksmith or Old Design Shop, or not Old Design Shop, it's either Nick the Booksmith or the Graphics Fairy, and I have a membership in their um, monthly membership program. So I just have it, I'm holding it closed because I used some pretty thick paper in this. The paper that I use is, it's like a, a 28 pound weight paper versus the normal 20 pound paper. It's very thick, it's almost like a thin cardstock. So it's pretty thick. I have completely coffee dyed everything and neutralized the acids in it with baking soda. So everything is all coffee dyed. This is what is also called a naked journal. There's no ephemera, there is no tags, there's nothing in it. I did do some digital stamping, I'll show that to you in a moment. But basically this is what we call a naked journal. There's nothing in it. So I'm going to simply pull these off and that's to hold it shut because right now it really has alligator mouth. And when you open it up, it's this gorgeous, gorgeous end paper. And I did the end papers on both ends. They're the same. This is also from the Graphics Fairy. They have a set of end papers. And so I got that from it. Now my son is a camp ranger for a Boy Scout camp in Minnesota. And the camp where he works is called Many Point Scout Camp. So I grabbed that off of their website. But most of this is going to be blank. It has over 120 pages. And with these 120 pages, I did the five hole pamphlet stitch. But this is more of a camping theme because I wanted this to be special for him. So there are a bunch of camping graphics or um, that you can get on the Graphics Fairy website. Again, I just turn them into digital stamping and most of the pages are blank. So I wanted to give him a lot of room to write. I had actually made him, oh, I'm all gluey still. I'd actually made him a journal a year ago and he's actually already filled it and had told me that he needed a new one for Christmas. So I do have a few flip outs and I did do just a little bit of stitching. I love this leaf pattern, this vine leaf pattern that my sewing machine makes. So I did include that. Here's a little raccoon. But again, most of these are going to be blank. This is, you know, your fish in the fishing basket. And I love the way this coffee paper feels, but it's really, like I said, very super thick. So it's really good. You could draw on it, you could use ink on it, and it's not going to bleed through. 
Again, more of the stitching. This is going to go very quickly because there's not a whole lot on here. There is an, a good old-fashioned folding knife. I had one of those when I was a kid and went off to camp. Um, in the middle is a Minnesota map because my son lives in Minnesota now and that's where his camp is located. Um, this is blank. Yep, there's a bear. And he does have bears that wander that property. So I definitely wanted to include a bear. Now this is a hollow back binding. See how the back, you can see right through it. A hollow back binding allows the book to lie flat no matter where you are in the book. So that's the reason why I love to do a hollow back binding is so that he can write in it and it, it doesn't buckle or you don't have to fold pages over. So some ducks, some mallards, and canoeing. So his camp is on a lake, a big beautiful lake, and they do a lot of camping or, and a lot of boating. There's an old fashioned whistle. So I really did like this. This is my favorite. Okay, so this is the bear chasing the person, scout if you will, up the tree. And knowing scouts, they would let a bear chase them up the tree. Anyway, um, so again, mostly a lot of blank pages and some the last of the stitching. And then at the end is just this deer. And this is the... Um, end paper again with my Country Morning Creation sticker on the back and that is the back and the front and that is it. I think that's probably the shortest flip through I have ever done because there was literally nothing else in the book. Well I hope you've enjoyed this flip through of this camping journal. I hope that you have seen some different things. I will, I do plan to list this uh, I have a ton of this tent camp, this tent fabric, so I will be listing that in my Etsy shop. The link is below. If you want, I will also link the Nick the Booksmith as well as the Graphics Fairy below. So if you want to get grab any of these, I think most of these you have to be a member of the Graphics Fairy, but if you're not, they have a ton of free stuff as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this flip through of this very naked camping journal. And I hope it inspired you to be creative today.